small businesses, not for... Yeah, I'm coach, there's an event on Wednesday that I'm coming right, to. I uh, left school in 2009, um, went to college to do hair and beauty. I didn't really, I, that was what I was dreamed of doing, but I didn't really enjoy it when I was there. So I left and came straight to here. I've been working here now nearly six months and I'm loving it and obviously I'm just gaining more and more experience to get more and more responsibilities. What are you enjoying about it? Um, I enjoy helping guests when they, whenever they like, need help and there's loads of regular guests that we get talking to and it, everyone works as a massive team. I mean like, sometimes I'll take a room service as well and I'll help in the restaurant when they're busy if there's someone else to cover the desk and it's just everyone works as a massive team, there's a lovely atmosphere and it's really good. Because when you're working on a reception, that's a key moment for a guest, isn't it? You yeah, because we're obviously the first face that they see. First face. What are the do's and don'ts that you've learnt? Um, to always smile uh, and always be like obviously polite and happy, make conversation with the guests and obviously not to just stand there and just don't make any conversation. Obviously you've got to welcome them basically into the hotel so as soon as they come in they feel relaxed straight away and then obviously go to their room and... And what would you say to the year 11 pupils or the sixth formers who are thinking about a career in hospitality? <coughs> I'd tell them to definitely do it because, I mean, I never would have thought of coming to the hotel but now I'm pleased I did because I've loved every minute of it. Is this part of a career? Uh, yeah, I do obviously want to gain more and more experience and build my way up to getting higher and higher in the business. I definitely want to do this, yeah. Laura, we've just spoken to Katie, who's, who's, I guess, been here six months, and talked about, in six months, her career journey. What's been your career journey? I started here nine months ago and joined as a receptionist. Throughout that time, I just um, learnt more things on the reception, and then I was offered a position in the meetings and events team. We deal with all the meeting bookings and the clients from there, and also birthday parties. Shortly after that, I was offered the position as a wedding coordinator. I've been doing that for three months now. I'm really enjoying it. In the wedding coordinator position, I deal with the initial inquiry right, right the way through to when the brides and grooms get married. So even in a short space of time, nine months, you're building up a, a really good CV? Yes, it's, it's, it's been fantastic. The hotel's given me lots of good opportunities and I've experienced lots of different work in different departments as well that's helped with that knowledge. Because we've been here to film a couple of the wedding fairs, it's, it's a high pressure afternoon, isn't it? <laughs> it is. There's a, there's a quick turnaround with each bride and groom. We try to just to meet them initially and find out their their needs and, and things from, from them. And then we take that forward into a larger appointment where we take them on a proper tour of the hotel and hopefully present them with a quote to give them an idea of how much their wedding will cost on the day. What's your advice to young people, whether they're year 11 at school or college, you know, when they're thinking about hospitality management, what's your advice? I'd say um, get some voluntary work or part-time work mm. in, a, in a hotel, preferably in a big hotel like this where you can experience lots of different departments. Be very enthusiastic, ask for lots of opportunities to learn different, different areas and just, just be there and enjoy it. So, yeah. And how do you spell your name? It's M small c capital C A N D L E S S and Laura L A U R A. They're going to be the lifeblood for staff here at Parkin, aren't they? Yeah, that's true actually, because we've got say we want to cre uh, create a base from the area actually, because one, being part of the responsible business that we've got um, to recruit people from the area, they've got the knowledge, they've got the potential for the future as well. And Parkin's lifeblood, or the residual power lifeblood on that one, is actually exactly what we need. So we try to recruit from the local area. So a day like today, what, what are the nuts and bolts of, of, a, of a day like today? Um, getting all the, um, the head teachers and people responsible for their recruitment say, um, from the schools actually in, um, to show up and showcase what Parkin can do really, and say um, where we can take their pupils and students actually in the future, and to give them a deeper view of what we actually can do for them. Because is there a cultural challenge of schools not saying to low achieve, only low achievers I'll go and do hospitality? You want people, everybody to think about hospitality management? I think everybody is say if you're ambitious, if you're an ambitious person, you want to do the change and you want to be you, you want to be in the in the working environment such as being here at Park Inn, um, you definitely can do that. So um, I wouldn't say that say um, just the underachieving people are going into the hospitality business. It's more like it is a kind of, it's, it's, it's a big job that you have to do, being in hospitality. And uh, as I said, when you're ambitious, you're just, you're just welcome from every school. You have to prove yourself, obviously, it's a tough job. But obviously, yeah, you can, you can prove yourself being in here. 
And it's a career, it could be a career, 30, 35 year career, can't it? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. You can grow. You start off as a as a as a normal person. You have to learn it from the bottom to the top, actually. So when you start off, you be a, for example, a receptionist, a, um, and so uh, you start off from there. But you can grow. Whatever you want to do, it's open for you as long as as you're ambitious and as long as you want to do that, actually. Okay. Diane, what's the purpose of today? Um, it's an event to offer professional development to teachers, careers advisors, college lecturers, um, and this particular event helps extend their knowledge and experience of the hotel and catering sector really. Because it does seem to be, you know, when we talk to people at South Essex College, you know, it's a, a flourishing channel for young people. Uh, certainly there's lots of opportunities for young people but in terms of real jobs but also in terms of progression, education, support. Um, you, you come along here and you feel as if a youngster would be coming to work for a family rather than just a job. So it's a very um, good sector I would have put, a supportive sector for young people. Because when we speak to general managers um, you know, such as Richard, I can't imagine anybody not starting at the bottom who wants to be a general manager. That's right. I mean, we had that discussion here today with, um, with, with the teachers. Um, and there were a couple of the points that came up. First of all, uh, when young people who are quite academic, who are looking for university education, um, who advises them to look to be a hotel manager? Nobody. And yet, you know, that's the kind of experience you've got to have um, but on the other hand you couldn't be a hotel manager even if you have got lots of degrees if you haven't done everything um, in the sector and understood all the different roles I, su I suspect that's what makes it a supportive sector to work in because people have to chip in and and do it all they can't just be sitting behind a desk telling other people what to do they've got to get on with it because here we are in Thurrock, and Thurrock is a key area down for regeneration skills, mm -hmm. and so people with, you know, it's a key, you know, people from companies will want to hopefully come here and develop here, but they will need hotels and they need good staff from Thurrock. They will, and they'll need to know where they are. The parking is, is such a good example of that. The first time I ever came here, I said, what a lovely place. I didn't know it was here, and they explained to me that that was why I was here, because my role was to help other people find out about what is a great local resource, really, and employer. And what organisations support you? Um, the funding comes through um, from government through local authorities, so Thurrock Council will have put some money in to support this activity, but I also get um, support in other ways from local authorities who give me connections with businesses to, to go and um, contact to organise events like these. Um, I also need to have delegates to come along, so I need the schools and colleges and um, uh, um, connections and careers advisors to, to come. So I need the support of those organisations to make the thing happen.